there we go, we're into another fish. And it really is starting to happen. I think we let the fish settle in front of us. And I was right on the brink of going onto the straight ledge, you saw it. And we caught our first fish. And now just by alternating each line, catch a fish off one, top it up. I'm not rushing, I'm just trying to catch each fish at a time. I've not even gone onto the, to the heavy rig because the fish aren't really fighting too much. And it's just a case of, you know, the size of the fish. If you catch 10 or 12 fish, you're gonna have close to 100 pounds. And it's just a case of catching them one at a time, keeping both lines going. I caught this one off the left-hand line, the 10 o'clock one. So what I'm gonna do when this fish is netted is another six or seven bits of corn, another few four mil pellets, go onto the right-hand line, which I fed about a quarter of an hour ago. And hopefully there'll be a carp waiting there. Catch that one, feed that line, and back onto the, two, onto the 10 o'clock line. Just alternating each line. We've got about seven or eight fish now for a real good weight. You've seen the size of some of them. A couple of them are well over 10 pound. And it's a case of not trying now to rush things. This is where a lot of anglers go wrong. They start catching a few fish, things start going to plan, and all of a sudden they start trying to pull the fish's heads off start feeding more and there's really no need it's about making every fish count and not overfeeding it and keeping them coming like i say a dozen or 15 fish will definitely be a hundred pound today and when 50 pound won the match yesterday it just goes to show accurate feeding negative feeding and patience and more importantly and i'm convinced what's helped helped us today is we've left the middle of the lake alone. We've let the fish settle, we haven't spooked them. We've let them settle and the result is they've come in and we're just getting odd bites every now and then, but from decent fish. And we're gonna end up on a freezing cold day when the lake was half frozen with an awesome weight. Again, I spoke about having a heavier rig but there's really no need. You can only get these fish in so quick. And what I'm happy about with the lighter rig is I feel I'm hooking them really quick. If there's one come in the, comes in the swim, it's not seeing any heavy line or feeling any heavy hooks. Fishing 014 to a 16 hook, and we're hooking that fish immediately. And like I say, they're big, heavy fish, and you can only get them in so quick anyway. So there's no real advantage of going on to that heavier rig. Another lovely mirror carp. You can see the interlastic system working perfectly again. Again, fish of around about eight pound. Hooked perfectly in the top lip. Hands are so cold, it's a job to, to get that hook out. But you can see the quality of these fish really is awesome. Nice, big, chunky, fat fish. Like I said, you can see by the size of that, which isn't the biggest one by far we've had today, that you don't need many fish at all. So what I'm going to do now, caught that one off the left-hand line, I'm going to pop this down. A few bits of corn. And sprinkling the pellets. Feed the left hand line and go onto the right hand line. That, like I say, was fed around about a quarter of an hour ago. It's probably a good time to mention, people will probably be thinking, well, why aren't you fishing with a kinder pot? And it's all about accuracy. For me, I like to take my time and just catch the fish steady. I want to just make sure that everything's fed right, no mistakes. If you start trying to rush with a kinder pot, instead of using a big pot, you can rush things. And like I say, you don't need hundreds of these fish to catch a real decent weight. 
nice big bit of corn. And I'm going now onto the right hand line. As you can see, I've only used corn on the hook today and I've fed corn and a few pellets. The reason I'm not using small soft pellets is quite simple. There's a big head of roach and small skimmers in this lake and you can really get pestered with them on softer pellets. Also corn for me is the number one winter's bait. It's nice and bright and the fish can see it quite easily. Really is a brilliant bait to use for these decent sized carp in these real cold conditions.